Phil Vickery's home now, where Bracken has sent his catch of the day to you. Phil, what has he sent you? Well, he sent it to me last night, which is fantastic. Overnight delivery. Just look at this quality. Look at this. Come over here, Lee. Look at this. So, the whole gurner that I showed you earlier, mackerel, lemon sole, the mackerel, beautiful turbot little fillets there, gurnered fillets, which is this here on there, and a couple of Cornish sardines. And it, honestly, I, I can't stress it enough. It is fresh, it is here, it's overnight, it is fantastic. And also, it's helping everybody. It's helping fishing communities, it's helping fishermen, it's fishing markets, couriers. Everybody gets involved and you get top quality. Now, to serve with that barbecued fish, I'm going to do a very, very simple um, curried beetroot. Very, very easy. Lee, uh, here we go. In this pan here, I have browned shallots cooking away. And to that, I'm going to add just a little bit of chopped garlic into there. Not a lot, because we don't want to overpower the dish. In that goes. Now, if you wanted to make a proper curry sauce, you'd use turmeric and fenugreek and all sorts of bits and pieces. I'm going to cheat here and just use a bog standard Madras curry paste. Again, it's a seasoning like salt and pepper. Don't go mad. So you just want probably a teaspoon like that. In that goes. Like so. And just cook that down for, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds just to get some heat into it. I am going to add a little touch more turmeric because I like the, the flavour of turmeric. And you probably won't see it because we're doing, we're doing curry beetroot, but a little bit just into there. Again, I said, a very, very small amount, probably half a teaspoon, something like that. And that goes. Now, as you can see, well, you can't smell it, unfortunately, but I can. This smells delicious. The curry's cooking out. Then, this little thing here, this is my badger mug. <laughs> Look at that, isn't that great? So a little bit of water. In that goes. Not too much. A little bit of stock cube. Here I'm using just the bog standard uh, stock cube, a uh, vegetable stock cube, and just break that stock up. And you'll see you a nice curry. Look at that beautiful colour water ready. Then, beetroots. Let's talk about beetroots. This is raw beetroot. Now, these you can braise in the oven or roast them, and you get the same effect as if you just buy them in a packet. I do have some which I bought in a packet here. It's a very, very good alternative. All they are, are boiled and skinned, and I've cubed them up just like that there. Beetroot goes in to the onions and the garlic. Again, look at that. All that water's gone pretty much already. Oh, quick tip here. These are the tops of the beetroot that I cooked earlier. Don't throw them away. It's a bit like Swiss chard. You can saute them a bit like a stir fry. You can boil them, put them with a little bit of creme fraiche. So don't throw them away. Delicious. I will add a touch of tomato puree. Again, probably a cup of... Oh. <laughs> there you go. Probably a tablespoon of that. Again, touch more water, in it goes, and just bring that all together. See all those lovely spices. All the water is evaporating, as you can see, like that there. Now, the secret is, is to drive off the moisture and then coat the beetroot, okay? It might take a couple of minutes if you've added a bit of water. If you haven't, then as you can see there. Now, salt, pepper, in that goes, and then, oh, a little bit of fresh coriander. I'm just going to break into there like that. Don't bother to chop it up. In that goes. And just... That, that's Michael. Stop it, Michael. My neighbours are a nightmare. Um, coriander goes in. And then, you'll see. What you do is you add a touch of creme fraiche to that, or double cream. Again, it's used like butter. So you only need one little spoon and just off the heat, stir that creme fraiche into the sauce and you'll see it just coats it like butter. Look at that, turn that off. Look at that, how quick and easy is that? So we just put that down the centre of the plate, like that, there's your beetroot. And then the whole mackerel that I cooked earlier, I took the head off, griddled it, on that goes like that. Bit of coriander. And there is my simple beet curry with the freshest fish from Cornwall. Look at that. Thank you very much indeed. And, and, there, and, and it looks relatively simple to, to cook, unless I'm deluded, but that looked... You and I could do that. It is simple. It is simple. Apart from cooking that, getting that ready, and grilling the fish, which is essentially what barbecue is, it's as simple as that. And it's fantastic quality, and you're helping people. So... All have a go, Amy, when you get home. That was thank you. fresh from Thank you, Bracken Philip, and thank that. you to Skipper Bracken on us both. Their recipe details are there on the This Morning app. Yeah, after the break, uh, we've got...